Okay, so now that we have done uh, our fiqh rulings, I want to just take a, a few minutes to remember something that will increase or, or improve our spirituality during prayer. So the one thing that I wanted to talk about tonight is what does salah mean to you when every time you move, you say Allahu Akbar? What does Allahu Akbar really mean? Of course, everyone knows Allahu Akbar means Allah is greater or the greatest, right? Okay, now you do your prayer five times a day. At, that's if you only do the mandatory prayers, but you will do even more prayers because of Sunan, because of Nawafil and all that stuff. And in every prayer, you say Allahu Akbar in every single move, except for Sami Allahu Liman Hamida. And what that really tells you is that regardless of what is in your mind, whether you are still thinking about your business, or still thinking about your job, or still thinking about some dispute that you have with another person, or you are thinking about someone who has threatened you, or maybe a lack of money, or maybe some debt that you are suffering from, or some issue that you have at family, or maybe you lost your son, or you lost your car, or someone has disturbed you, or someone has fought you. When you think about all of these, you remind yourself that Allah is greater. That there's nothing in this whole world that is worth your attention more than the one who is greater than everything else, and that is Allah. When you have that as a belief in your heart, when you have that as something that is really, really, really reflected in every single move you say in your prayer, that's when you enjoy your prayer the most. That's why Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to say to Bilal, Arihna bis salati ya Bilal. Give us comfort by calling to the prayer. Because we know that regardless of what is bothering us, regardless of what is annoying us, regardless of what is consuming all of our minds and thoughts, we will come to the prayer and remind ourselves that Allah is greater. Allah is greater than anything that is bothering us regardless of how big it is, regardless of how tragic it is, regardless of how annoying it is, Allah is greater. And at that point in time, you remember that instead of you chasing others to help you resolving your issues, go first to your Lord. Be, make Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the first and the most important and the most significant one that you call upon and you invoke in your dua, in your prayer, that you humiliate yourself, you humble yourself to him because Allah is the greatest. Allah is greater than anything that you're facing in this dunya. Nothing, not even the, the, the most powerful president on earth can do anything in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So why should you bother yourself by chasing others, by connecting your heart to others or to the will of others, just connect yourself to the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I hope that this will give us a different perspective about our prayer. Now that we can inshallah do our prayer just like how Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa used to do it, I hope it's very important now that we put our focus and our emphasis on how our hearts are going to pray. Once again, I said this in one khutbah, uh, one of our major scholars was asked, uh, when we pray, we do prostration, sujood, right? Is it possible for the hearts themselves to make sujood? And the scholar has said, yes. But once they do a sujood, they will never get up from that sujood in their whole lifetime. You know what that means? At the time when your heart truly connects with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and gets that sense of khushu' and sense of tranquility and sense of khawf and fear from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah is truly in your heart the greatest of everything that you may see in this universe at that point in time your heart will never get you back 
to how it was in the past. And it will continue in the state of sujood until Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala takes your soul. So let us do our best and strive inshallah until we get to that state when our hearts will make the sujood just like how our, our bodies make the sujood in the salah. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum.